competition. If you're a nonprofit and you want to get a booth down here at the Fall Festival, joining me now is the Streets co-chair, Joe Pettigene, to talk about that. Let's talk about the setup process first that goes into setting all these booths up. It's uh, organized chaos. Uh, you know, they come, come in at 7 o'clock on Sunday morning, and within a couple hours, it's you blink and they're there. Yeah. Uh, it's the people that bring the booth in, which are, are all volunteers with their organizations, they do a great job. They know what they're doing. We kind of get out of their way and let them have it. We just tell them where they need to be, and it's 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 an amazing process. And as I mentioned, it is stiff competition if you uh, want some real estate down here not, in West Franklin Not, not too many people get out once they get in, but honestly, uh, a lot of booths do have problems with volunteers, uh, which is unfortunate because, mm -hmm. you know, our club's all about volunteering in the first place. And we, we kind of urge people to volunteer, help out, you know, as much as you can. But yeah, and you only have a certain amount of space down here that you can. 137 booths is what we have space for. This year we're down to 135. So, you know, there's there's room. So mm -hmm. we've got a waiting list that we we keep up with because we can only fit certain booths yeah. in certain spots. So. And a lot of nonprofits have been on that list for a while too. Uh, yes, yes, mm -hmm. they have. Uh, I've been in the club 13 years, and I know some of them have been on there that long. Wow. So. And you, uh, yeah, you work with the booths a lot here. Tell us the secret to, get, to getting people in. Is it to find something unique to sell? Uh, some of it's that because there's always those people chasing that new item. But um, a lot, a lot of, a lot of people. Me, for example, I'm been coming here for 30 plus years, and I still have staples I go to. You know, right. uh, it's the same old thing. But I'm okay with that. But I think that's the general the general consensus of a lot of people they know what they want they might branch out here and there but mm -hmm. a new thing every now and then somebody might try it yeah and let's talk quickly about the, the cleanup process I mean it, this is done uh, virtually uh, overnight as quick as it gets set up it's tore down just as quick uh, we ask them to be off the street by 9 a.m. Sunday morning so we can start cleaning up the mess and by noon we're we're done Wow so it's amazing it's 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 very impressive how yeah. it happens and it's just people a lot of help Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot, Joe. Appreciate right. you joining Thank us you. tonight. And Shelly, we will have much more live from the Fall Festival coming up on Eyewitness News.